Being able to visualize data is a critical skill that you need to understand patterns, trends, and relationships within your data. Excel's data visualization tools are a versatile way to analyze and illustrate your data to make it easier to understand for not only you, but others as well. In this video, I'm going to show you Excel's top five data visualization tools. And by the end of this video, you will be a data visualization pro. Let's get started. First up, Sparklines. A Sparkline is a mini chart inserted inside a cell that visually represents trends in a data series. For example, here we have yearly sales data by representative and want to analyze their year-over-year -year trends. This is a perfect scenario to use Sparklines because each representative has a series of data that we want to visualize. To insert a Sparkline, select the cell you want to insert the Sparkline into Navigate to the Insert tab and choose Line under the Sparkline group. Now we need to select the data we want to visualize. So I'm going to select Justin's sales data, hit OK, and we have successfully created our first Sparkline that visually represents Justin's year-over-year -year sales. The last step is to fill the Sparklines down the column using the Autofill handle. As you can see, Sparklines are a quick and easy way to take your data table to the next level by visualizing each row of data within the table. Next up, rep bar charts. Rep bar charts are another great way to level up your data table by adding mini in-cell bar charts to visualize the size of a number. Rep bar charts are unique because we create them using the rep function. The rep function is typically used to repeat a character a specified number of times, but it can also be used to visualize data. Here we have units sold by representative and want to visualize the number of units sold so that the data is easily digestible. To visualize data using the rep function, first we need to enter the rep function followed by an open parenthesis. Then we need to enter the vertical bar symbol in double quotations as the text argument and select the number we want to visualize as the number times argument. Now just hit return and fill the formula down the column by double-clicking the autofill handle. Here's the trick. To convert these values into mini bar charts, we just need to update the font to stencil. By updating the font, we created easy-to-read mini charts for each unit sold value in the column next to the data. Rep bar charts are a simple yet effective way to visualize the size of a number compared to others within the range. Next, we are going to learn how to utilize heat maps to visualize geographical data. A heat map is a chart that uses color shading to display how values differ based on geographical region. We can easily create heat maps in Excel using Excel's map tool. The map tool automatically recognizes and can map data by country, state, county, or postal code. Here we have sales data by state and we want to insert a heat map chart to see which regions have the highest sales. To insert a heat map, select the data we want to visualize by pressing Ctrl A, navigate to the Insert tab, open the map dropdown and select Build Map. As you can see, Excel automatically created a map and shaded each state based on the amount of sales in that region. Heat maps are critical to understanding patterns and relationships within geographical data. Next, we are going to learn how to visualize a range of values using color scales. Color scales use color shading similar to heat maps, but this time Excel uses gradations of two or three colors that correspond to the minimum, midpoint, and maximum value within the range, and then highlights the cell accordingly. For example, here on my screen we have sales trends by state, and we want to analyze the change in trends over time. This scenario is perfect for color scales because they visualize the difference between values based on the minimum, midpoint, and maximum. To add a color scale, select the data you want to visualize, open the conditional formatting dropdown on the Home tab, and choose Color Scales. From here, select the color scale you wish to use to visualize your data. I'm going to select the green, white, and red color scale because it highlights the maximum values green, the medium values white, and the minimum values red. As you can see, by adding a color scale, we can quickly analyze which states have negative versus positive trends and how negative versus how positive the trends actually are. 
Last but not least, image bar charts. Image bar charts are a fun way to visualize and compare data totals. Here on my screen, we have the number of votes for each software, and we want to create a chart that visualizes the number of votes by software. Now, we could just insert a simple bar chart, but I'm going to show you a fun way to take your bar charts to the next level. First, we need to insert a bar chart by selecting the data table and pressing Alt F1. Next, we are going to replace each bar within the bar chart with each software's logo to enhance the chart. I already inserted each software's logo into the worksheet, but if you need to insert an image, go to the Insert tab, open the Picture dropdown, and you can import images from any of these locations. Once the images are in our worksheet, just select the image, press Ctrl X to cut the image, select the corresponding bar inside the chart, and press Ctrl V to replace the bar with the image. Repeat this step for the Numbers in Excel logo, and now the height of each image represents the number of votes. The last step I like to take is to widen the images slightly to be more proportional. To do this, right-click any image, select Format Data Series, adjust the gap width here, and we are finished. To wrap up, we covered how to visualize data using sparklines, rep bar charts, heat maps, image bar charts, and color scales. Hopefully now you can see that Excel has a wide variety of powerful tools for visualizing all types of data. If you like this video, comment your favorite data visualization tool we covered below and subscribe to our channel for more.